Andy's Greenhouse, wherever he plants my favorite plant in the world. Welcome to Randy's Greenhouse. I want to talk to you today about one of my favorite plants in the world. These are the Paphiopetalum orchids. I love this genus of orchid. They're, uh, they're not a difficult orchid to grow. They're easily obtainable in most garden centers. Uh, they have really unusual flowers. I really like them. They have this uh, beautiful foliage too. Frequently it's mottled. Nice, nice attractive looking plant which is kind of rare for orchids. They're usually kind of odd looking. Um, they pot them, they pot them up in, in, pot, in uh, orchid bark just like you would uh, any other orchid. You, uh, they like, you know, low levels of light just like any other orchid. Uh, they're not uh, particularly difficult to care for. Water them with uh, high nitrogen fertilizer just like any other orchid. Uh, I wanted to show you there's a lot of variation in their, in their foliage. Uh, I've got a little species down here. This is a full grown plant little tiny white beautiful flowers. I wish it was in bloom so you could see it, but... And wouldn't you know it, I already had a picture of it when it was in bloom. The camera won't capture it, but they, they look, they have a translucent layer on top of them. It looks like it's made out of carved glass. This is Paphiopetalum nivium. It's a wonderful little species. Um, sometimes the foliage is just very sort of uh, Nondescript strap-like leaves, sort of like a lily or, or a, you know, anything, any common garden plant, but the flowers are just unforgettable. This is another wonderful species, Paphiopetalum escarolii. Uh, and in a little bit, I'm going to be showing you some of the wonderful variation in the flowers of these uh, just absolutely amazing orchids. I'm here at Maurice Selby Gardens in Sarasota, Florida. And I brought you here because I wanted to show you some of the beautiful variety of these beautiful Paphiopetalum orchids. Now here's a beautiful green flowered one. Now I normally don't like green flowers, but as you can see, the, the, the form of this, this flower is absolutely magnificent. This one here has really beautiful twisted, twisted uh, petals and, and some great veining. Over here, you really get a sense of the variety in this genus. You have all kinds of color, shape, and size. Some of them are really magnificently large. I really love these dark purple ones. They just look like something from outer space. They're just unforgettable. They usually don't have large numbers of flowers on them at any given time, but the flowers that they do have are just absolutely spectacular. Well, that's about all I have to say about Paphiopetalums. This has been Randy's Greenhouse. Thanks for watching.